What's going on City of Heroes family? In this video, I want to discuss something that's somewhat of a touchy subject within the City of Heroes community. Is power leveling via AE the wrong way to play City of Heroes? Now real quick, just in case for those that are not aware, AE stands for Architect Entertainment. Inside the AE buildings, you can actually access player made missions and it, it's just another great thing about this game i feel like all mmorpgs should have something like this but as you can see behind me this is actually a player made mission this is one of the more popular power leveling and farming ones the story of a real big dog now there are some really cool missions in the mission architect there are some really really good ones some that actually have a, a fully fleshed out story but a lot of them are for power leveling and farming. Now I see a lot of players, especially veteran players, openly bashing this process of leveling on Facebook groups, Reddit pages, and even in the game. I mean, you can literally start a new character and go from one to 50 within a few hours. So that brings me to my question that I'm asking in this video. Is power leveling in these missions the wrong way to play this game and the answer for me is no now here's the deal let me dive a little bit deeper into this you have to understand that for some players and, and this includes myself it's all about the journey I personally enjoy the leveling process I love getting to know my character slowly becoming familiar with my powers and that's the experience for me that's the part of the game that i really enjoy the most but for some other players it's all about in-game content they don't care about the leveling process they don't want to read the missions they don't care about any of that and that that's not a bad thing what i'm getting at is there's not a right or wrong way in my opinion to play any video game and especially in the city of heroes community we're all about Play the archetype that you enjoy the most. Don't worry about the numbers. Play the power set combinations that you think look the most interesting. Don't pay attention to the numbers. And I feel like that needs to apply to this, the way that people level their characters. Now, a lot of people make the argument that I got in a, a TF or something with a level 50 and you can tell that they power leveled because they didn't know anything about their character and that that can be a valid argument i do see that side of it but i think what frustrates most players that are against this is the fact that especially if you're new to this game everyone wants you to experience how great this game really is and if all you do is just instance into this mission over and over until you get to 50 and just experience all of the in-game stuff you missed all of the meat in the middle you know what i'm saying and we we have so much love for this game and we know how good it is and we want you to experience everything there is in this game you don't get to see all of the sights and sounds by just sitting in this mission instance but again if that's what you enjoy then more power to you and these have other uses than just power leveling a lot of people use them for farming and that's not really frowned upon as much as the power leveling aspect of it but i, I get asked a lot do do i do this do i power level uh with the ae missions i've played around with it a little bit obviously this footage is from me um and i, I die quite a few times so just ignore that or maybe i'll <clears throat> cut it out in the the editing but I've tried it a little bit. Uh, it, it's it's okay. It's good fun for a little bit, but um, it just personally, it's it's not for me. But I'm also not going to knock players who enjoy it. Uh, the biggest thing I can recommend is don't let the peer pressure push you into doing the AE power leveling, but also look at it the other way as well if you enjoy doing it don't let people bashing it stop you from doing it will i potentially use this in the future for alts most likely yes just to be honest and that's that's an argument that a lot of people make for this is that they've already leveled 
one to fifty on one character, two characters, three characters, and they have an, another idea for a character that they want to do some in-game content on, and they don't want to spend you know weeks leveling all the way up through TFs and uh, radio missions and story arcs and all that good stuff. And I realize that I've probably talked in circles and I I'm probably repeating myself a lot here, but I'm mostly interested in knowing how you guys feel. So let me know down in the comment section below. Think of the comment section for this video as sort of an open forum about this. How do you feel about power leveling in City of Heroes? How do you feel about uh, using these missions to power level a character. And don't worry about any type of criticism or negative comments that you might receive about it. Put your opinion down in the comment section below because I'd love to hear it. So let's talk it out and just, I wanna see what you guys think. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Just a, a short little video, just asking your opinion on a, a, a subject that's, uh, again, a, a little touchy within the community. So I'm, I'm looking for feedback from you guys. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already and click the little notification bell. That way you know when we go live, I'm going to do some surprise streams with giveaways, so you don't want to miss that. But for now, that's it for me. I hope to see you guys in Paragon City soon. Positive Gamer, peace out. And I'd like to say thank you to all of the YouTube members that I have on this channel. These guys and gals on the screen right now, they have actually clicked the join button over beside the subscribe button and that directly supports this channel. So thank you guys so much for your support. If you click the join button and become a member, you get special emotes you can use during live streams. You get priority grouping. You get a Statesman loyalty badge beside your name and lots of other perks as well. Uh, so again, thank you guys so much for all of your support.